everyone, for today's behind the scenes, I'm so excited to be using the LensBaby Omni Creative Filter System. Today we're going to be taking photos with the original filter system. We also have the Crystal Expansion Pack and also the brand new Color Expansion Pack which just came out today. So we're going to take photos with every single filter so you guys can see what it looks like in action and see all the final images as well. What I love the most about the Omni system is that it's not another prism where you awkwardly have to hold your camera in one hand and then balance the prism in front of your lens to take photos. The Omni is super intuitive and it comes with a filter thread that you put in the front of your lens. It's really unobtrusive so you can have it on your lens for an entire photo shoot or an entire wedding even. And then when you see a moment where you could use a filter or a colored gel, you just grab the filter and you can stick it on to the magnets that are in the front. These magnets move around as well and there's four of them and I think you get even more if you get one of the expansion packs comes with extra magnets so you can really layer up a bunch of filters, crystals, colors and create some craziness if you want or you can just use one and keep it more subtle. But yeah, then you just kind of move around the front of the lens and create all these beautiful effects. So I'm gonna stop talking because we have like a million photos to get through and show you. I'm going to use the Sony a7 III so you can see what I'm shooting while I'm taking photos and the Zeiss 35mm 1.4 lens. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Might get you to start maybe just here so you're in the sun. Mm -hmm. Where's the stick on here? I should probably put on the, this side. The first pack we're shooting with is the original filter system which comes with three ones. That's so sick. I know, I love it. That's pretty there. But if you want to be kind of like really quite whimsical and oh, yeah. soft and mm. yeah. First up we have the Crystal Seahorse, which I love the way it reflects light and creates beautiful bucket and little shimmers on your photos. I found that the majority of these filters work best in a backlit situation to make the most of their effects by having the sun shine directly on them and thus blending them into your photo. This one, I'll do like a full body one so you can go crazy like spinning and being all cute and stuff. That's perfect. Oh, I like the kicking actually too. Next, we use the stretch glass, which is perfect if you want a more extreme looking effect. In the sun, it reflects long stretches of light into your photo, almost as if you're doing a long exposure second curtain shutter effect with a flash at night. Perfect. Oh, my hair's getting my face. I need to come just over here again. I'm gonna move this to like the top. Yeah, like that. And in the shade, it creates a more motion blur effect. The next one in my pocket. <laughs> this one has like a little oh, rainbow. It's like holographic. Yeah, it? yeah. Right. Oh, that looks so pretty. And finally, for the original Omni pack, we have the rainbow film, which I think is one of my favorites of this pack. I love the subtle rainbow glow it adds to your photos, especially if you place it around the edges of your frame. If you want a more extreme look with this filter, when I had the sun directly hitting my lens, the rainbow was much more visible and vibrant in the shot. I'm gonna get a close up of your face here too. I edited all these photos with my Amalfi Lightroom preset pack, which I'll leave linked down below for you. And I also included the before photo so you can clearly see what each filter looks like before I edit the colors. One thing I wanted to mention when you're editing uh, photos with these filters is to keep an eye on your HSL luminance and saturation. Especially with filters with a rainbow effect, you can get some banding around the colors depending how much you're pushing or pulling your HSL. So if you find you're trying to edit some of these photos and you are getting a lot of banding, that's where I would first take a look and kind of bring down or bring up the luminance until that banding goes away. Oh. oh, that one's really nice. It's like all purple. Let's do a sitting one. Maybe here so you're in the sun. Ooh, I see the disco ball. <laughs> there she is. 
The next pack that we're going to take photos with is the color expansion pack, which is the largest pack yet and the pack that was just released today. First we have the Crescent Wand, which creates fractal effects. In the sun, I feel like it blends more into my image since the colors of the wand appear more washed out and in the shade, the color of the wand really shines through in the photos. Oh, this one's like blue. There is also a second one in this expansion pack, a crystal multicolored teardrop, which I found to have a more rainbow appearance compared to the crescent wand. And since it's smaller, you can also have it be a subtle effect on the edges of your photo. I decided to go full on there and have the one cover a large portion of my photos just to show you what it looks like. <laughs> different colors. This one's another rainbow, but it's got different stripes. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, I love this one. Now we are shooting with the set of textured Lumi films. When you use them in the shades, such as these first two shots we're taking, it gives your photos a coloured effect. It's pretty quick though to like yeah, that, yeah, it is. tie it on. And when you use them in the sun, like the last two shots we're now taking, you see the solid color effect and also some flare effects from the texture on the film. I find that you can make the most of the effects of these textured films by shooting in the sun. Also, if you look at both sides of the film, they are slightly different hues, so you could even flip them around to get even more variation out of them. The same goes with the set of five smooth Lumi films that we're about to use next as well. In your eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my jumper, it's blue. Ah! And that's purple. Oh! <laughs> I'm way too easily blue. Yeah, just like see? That's sick! Yeah. <laughs> <In front of you. laughs> oh, it kind of changes. I'm saying red and green. Really? Reflections, yeah. These smooth surface Lumi films are probably my favorite set of filters from the entire pack. In the sun, they look so beautiful. And then we'll get a few more in the sun too. Since they look kind of metallic, you have such a variety of colors and hues that appear in your photos, as well as light leaks and random bokeh spots here and there. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I just stand just there on like the edge. Oh, hey, oh my God. <laughs> I wonder if I have him in the background of my shots. If I'm in the sun, it looks better. Let me try the other side as well. Yeah, I'll do the same. Even though we were in a warm toned location, I really loved how the blue film looked as well as the pink one which I had covering almost my entire image to give it a soft look. Oh I love this one, it's like pinky purple. Oh, 
Oh, this one's my favorite. And then my favorite one was the clear film. I think this is probably the most versatile filter. The effect is subtle enough that you can use it quite often without it looking repetitive. And you're gonna do one over your shoulder too. Or taking away too much from the image. This is one that I would definitely keep in my pocket while shooting a wedding since it can be used in so many different ways. Lastly, we're going to use the set of five colored gels, which adds a single color overlay. Yeah, it makes it look like winter. Yeah. The blue and green ones, I could imagine would look really amazing if you're shooting with colored lights at night, at the beach, or in a jungle environment. Like a, like a sun lens flare kind of thing. Yeah, I like this one. It's like sunset. The red, orange and yellow ones are perfect if you want to make golden hour more intense. Or even fake golden hour like we did with this yellow filter if the sun is not setting just yet. And here are all the final images from the color expansion pack so you can see what each set of filters look like. Just like I mentioned, there are so many different filters and variations in this pack. Okay, I'm gonna get a full body shot here. Oh, I like the head back. The final expansion pack available for the Omni system is the Crystal Pack. The first one we're using is the Scalloped Window Effect. I like how this keeps a natural colour to the image and adds clear bundles of bokeh depending where you position the wand. The next one we're using is the Crystal Spear, which adds a larger bokeh and light leak effect, as well as some lines of light. Throw it. <laughs> Thank you. And last but not least is the triangular prism, which again is another one that I would consider keeping in my pocket as it's super versatile. I love what it looks like in backlight, again adding a soft light leak over the image. You can also have it reflect parts of your location for some added texture in your light leak. I just want to get one more shot in there with a bit more bushy in the background. Oh, that's cool. Let me try and close up here. <laughs> so that is all I have for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all those photos and the examples of each of the filters that come in all the packs. And I also just want to say a big thank you to Lens Baby for sending this all out to me so I can take photos and show you guys what it all looks like in action. I'd love to know in the comments down below which ones were your favorite filters. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you guys all next time. Bye.